Today I want to show you how to check if your computer meets the requirements for Windows 11. To do so, we'll need to download Microsoft's PC Health Check application. You can find it at the link here, which I'll put in the video description below. Currently, the PC Health Check application is only available to Windows insiders. If you're not already an insider, it's easy to register. Just click Learn More, which will bring you to this Insider Program page. Make sure that you're logged in with your Microsoft account, and then click Register. On the next page, scroll down, and click the checkbox next to I accept the terms of this agreement, and then click Register Now. Now you can go back to the PC Health Check application website, which will now be available to you. There are a few different downloads depending on your current operating system architecture. To find out what you're running, click on the Start button, type About, and click About Your PC. Next to System Type, it'll tell you which operating system architecture you're running. Since ours is 64-bit, we'll click the 64-bit Download. Once the download finishes, click the Setup file. When the Setup window opens, click the checkbox next to I accept the terms in the license agreement, and then click Install. It should just take a moment. Once the installation is finished, make sure the box is checked next to Open Windows PC Health Check, and click Finish. If you're opening the app for the first time, it may take a bit to load. Once it opens, you'll see a section at the top introducing Windows 11. Click Check Now. And it'll let you know if your PC meets the Windows 11 requirements. If you click See All Results, you can see specifics such as whether your PC is using Secure Boot, its TPM version, which needs to be 2.0, its processor, how much RAM it has, its system disk size, processor cores, and your processor clock speed. If one of these items fails, it can help you narrow down why your computer isn't meeting the Windows 11 requirements. If everything passes, then you're good to go. If you have any questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site.